Whether it be hugging them or climbing them, we all love to get up close and personal with trees. But the thing is, not all of them should be touched. Some trees may be beautiful, but are surprisingly not our friends. These are the most dangerous trees you should never touch. Number 15. Dragon's Blood Trees The Dragon's Blood Tree is a beautiful, umbrella-like tree that can grow up to 30 feet high and live for around 600 years. Its sap, which is where the tree's name originates, has been used for hundreds of years for things like varnish, medicine, and even lipstick. Given that it has such a broad range of uses, you may wonder why it's a dangerous tree that you should never touch. Well, it's not dangerous, but you shouldn't touch it, and that's because it's vulnerable to extinction. This tree is native to just one island in the Socotra Archipelago in the Arabian Sea off Yemen's coast. They are under threat from logging, overgrazing of seeds and shoots by livestock, and habitat fragmentation. Even though new trees are growing, they rarely survive to maturity for these reasons. But that's not the end of the dragon blood tree's woes. Because of climate change, the island is getting drier by the year. As a result, researchers believe that at least 45% of its current range will be lost by 2080. Even though plans were in place to grow more seedlings, war has curtailed those efforts. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Sandbox Tree Now here's a tree that is dangerous, the Sandbox Tree. As fun as that name sounds for young kids, you'll be wanting to keep well away from this deadly tree. In fact, it's considered one of the most dangerous plants in the world. And it's not even dangerous for just one reason, but many. Firstly, just look at those spikes. This 90 to 130 foot tree is covered in cone-shaped spikes. If that's not enough to keep you away from it, then nothing will. There are also male and female flowers. When they are fertilized, the female flowers produce pods that have exploding seeds inside. When the seed capsules dry and mature, they explode with a bang. Hard, flattened seeds fly through the air at up to 150 miles an hour, reaching distances of over 60 feet away. Any person or animal in their path can be seriously injured. If that's not bad enough, this tree has incredibly poisonous fruit and irritating sap. The fruit can cause cramps, diarrhea, and vomiting if you ingest it. If you touch the sap, it can cause a red rash and even blindness if it gets in your eyes. That's one hell of a tree. Number 13. Conium Maculatum Trees Conium maculatum is an herbaceous flowering plant or tree that is native to Europe and North Africa. It can grow up to around 8 feet tall and has hollow green stems with red or purple streaks and small white flowers with tiny petals. To be honest, it looks like a completely innocent tree type, but that's before you learn that it also goes by another name, Poison Hemlock. And as that name suggests, it is poisonous. I'm going to avoid touching the plant. Most people don't have a problem with touching it. Hemlock contains coneine and other poisonous alkaloids that are poisonous to all mammals and some organisms that eat it. Cattle, pigs, horses, rabbits, sheep, goats, and more have all been victims of this inconspicuous plant. But don't let that make you think that humans are exempt from poisoning. We are not. We just don't tend to go around eating random plants and trees. Consuming just six to eight leaves of this plant can be fatal to a human. Coneine has incredibly toxic effect on kidneys and can lead to acute kidney injury. It can also lead to respiratory muscle failure, muscular paralysis, then eventually death by oxygen deprivation. Number 12. Toxic Manchineal Tree one of the most frustrating things about the manchineal tree is how normal it looks. It lures you in with its delicious looking green apples and there are no signs that it could cause you great harm. But it can. This tree is one of the most toxic trees in the world because it has a toxin filled milky white sap that covers everything from the bark to the leaves and the fruit. 
If you so much as touch this tree, which is native to North and South America, it can cause significant blistering. But the discomfort and danger don't end there. If you burn the tree and stay around to breathe in the smoke, it can cause significant eye injuries if it gets in your eyes. If you eat the fruit, it can cause a burning and tearing sensation of the throat, followed by gastroenteritis with bacterial superinfection, bleeding, and shock. Fortunately, if these trees are located in populated areas, they're marked with an X so that you know to stay away from them. Strangely, though, the wood has been used for centuries by Caribbean furniture makers, and the fruits have been dried and used as diuretics. Number 11. Suicide Tree Suicide Tree is not its official name, but you'll soon find out why the Cerbero Odalum plant is given that name. It grows in India and parts of Southern Asia, and some people use it for hedging. As long as you leave it alone and don't eat it, it's okay. It's when you do eat it that problems happen. It has long been a plant of choice for people who want to end their own life or commit murder. The fruit, which look like small mangoes, house a small kernel. These kernels contain cerberin, which is a toxin that blocks your heart muscle's calcium ion channels. This can disrupt the heartbeat and cause death. One of the most common symptoms of ingestion is vomiting, but it's incredibly difficult to detect this kernel in autopsies. According to Wikipedia, it's also easy to mask the flavor with strong spices, which is why it was popular in India for homicide and suicide. Just one kernel can be fatal, and death can occur in under two days. People who consume a kernel will experience a burning sensation in the mouth, vomiting, and irregular respiration, followed by a headache, irregular heartbeat, and then a coma or death. Number 10. Coconut Tree a coconut tree looks innocent enough. It doesn't have any deadly poisons, sharp spikes, or vomit-inducing sap. But it does have something that can cause severe back, neck, shoulder, and head injuries, and that's the coconuts. There have been many studies carried out over time to find out just how many people are injured or killed from coconut trees, but results have wildly varied. In saying that, officials in Queensland, Australia were so worried about the injury and fatality risk that they removed coconut trees from their beaches in 2002. A newspaper even called coconuts a killer fruit. That might be in part due to some figures included in a research paper called Injuries Due to Falling Coconuts published in the Journal of Trauma. The researcher claimed that in four years, 2.5% of all trauma admissions in Papua New Guinea were caused by falling coconuts. For some reason, it also stated two anecdotal reports of death, which was misquoted as 150 worldwide. Even though that figure isn't accurate, that's not to say that coconuts and their trees aren't dangerous. A coconut falls from a tree with around 2,000 pounds of force. You would certainly feel that if it landed on you. Many newspapers have also reported that you're more likely to be killed by a falling coconut than by a shark. Number 9. Strychnine Tree the strychnine tree, which also gets called Quaker Buttons, Poison Nut, Nux Vomica, and a few other names, is a deciduous tree native to Southeast Asia and India. It's of medium size, so not too threatening looking, and has leaves that grow up to around 3 inches long. Sure, it doesn't look evil or harmful, but don't let its innocent looks deceive you. This tree is trouble with a capital T. These trees have apple-sized fruit with hard, soft shells and soft white flesh with a jelly-like pulp in the center. This pulp has five seeds that feel soft and woolly. All these textures in one fruit sound pretty disturbing, but even more so when you come to learn that the seeds are poisonous. They contain strychnine, which has been used for poison in arrows and for killing feral mammals in bait. Any accidental poisonings are often caused by absorbing the seed powder through the skin or by breathing it in. Tests were carried out on zebrafish to find out what the effects of the poisonous seeds are. They affected the heart's functionality, led to organ toxicity, and caused cell death in the liver and kidneys. After two days, the central nervous system and heart seemed to recover. Number 8. Horse Chestnut 
As delicious as the small berries on a horse chestnut tree look, it's a good idea to give this tree a wide berth. Sure, the seeds can prove beneficial, but only if not consumed raw. If they are, they can cause extreme thirst, nausea, vomiting, and in the worst cases, paralysis and death. Surprisingly, these trees are incredibly common to come across. They were grown in the Pacific Northwest because of how beautiful the flowers are. They are also quite prevalent in Vancouver, where the climate is quite temperate, and in other countries like New Zealand and the UK. Fortunately, you won't accidentally eat the seeds of a horse chestnut tree because they are quite distinctive. They are large, vibrant green trees growing up to around 128 feet long with beautiful white flowers featuring striking pink blotches. The fruit on them have large, green, spiky shells. Children throughout the world collect this fruit and play a game called Conkers. The seeds within those conkers, or fruit, are where the problems lie. The seeds contain alkaloid saponins. The fresher the fruit, the more potent the poisons are. In saying that, it's only the seed you have to watch out for. During the First World War, the conkers were collected and used as a form of starch in food sources. Number 7. Milky Mangrove Milky Mangrove, or Excoeceria agola, we'll go with Milky Mangrove, is a mangrove species that also gets called Blind Your Eye Mangrove for reasons you're about to find out. This tree has such toxic properties that when its latex touches your eye, it can cause blindness. It grows in the brackish and saline waters of India, Bangladesh, and Australia and thrives in tropical mangrove forests. It also grows up to around 15 meters high, with trees forming as either males or females. Female trees have short spikes, while the males have drooping tassel flowers. Given that many animals feed off trees to survive, the milky mangrove needed a form of protection. It just didn't want to be eaten, and that's fair enough. It has a chemical defense that includes a milky latex that's both poisonous and irritating. When it touches your skin, it causes irritation and excruciating blistering. And, as mentioned above, when it touches your eyes, it causes blindness. If you burn the wood, the smoke can also lead to blindness, although that tends to be temporary. If you dry and powder the leaves, the poison stays behind and has long been used in poison darts. Number 6. Dendrochnid Moroides Gimpy Dendrochnid moroides, which also gets called moonlighter, gimpy, and even the suicide plant, is a species of Australian stinging tree. It's common in rainforest areas of Australia's northeast and is the most toxic stinging tree species. Even though humans can eat the fruit of this plant, it's only possible once the hairs are removed. If you touch the leaves or twigs that have hollow, silica-tipped hairs, they can penetrate through the skin and inject toxins into your body. The pain caused by these stings can last several hours, or even up to two days. In some cases, people stung by these trees have experienced discomfort several months afterward whenever that part of their body is exposed to temperature changes, water, or touch. When the sting happens, small red spots form to create a well. But that's not the only way these nettle trees can affect you. The hairs can be released into the air when large areas of gimpy are cut or cleared. Some workers have reported sneezing, runny noses, nasal bleeding, and throat irritation when not wearing respiratory protection while removing them. Number 5. Oleander Oleander is a beautiful ornamental tree that's available in a variety of shapes and sizes. It's so versatile and wide-ranging that many people include it in their landscape. But failure to understand how dangerous this tree is can result in death. And we're not even exaggerating. Sure, most people aren't going to accidentally eat this plant, mainly because it has a foul taste, but many animals have died after eating it, such as dogs, cats, horses, cows, and birds. Even a small amount of this tree can cause severe illness or death. Whether dried or fresh, this tree's foliage doesn't discriminate. According to the National Institute of Health, every single part of oleander is toxic, so there's no escaping its effects. Eat the stems, twigs, leaves, or flowers, and you're in big trouble. Touching the sap can cause severe skin irritation, and smoke from burning the plant can have an impact as well. Symptoms of poisoning include stomach pain, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, blurred vision, depression, tremors, headache, low blood 
blood pressure, sleepiness, fainting, and confusion. So basically, if you eat this plant, you are not gonna have a good time. Number four, Namibian Bottle Tree. The Namibian bottle tree is a shrub or tree that can grow up to six meters tall. It doesn't take you long to work out why it has the name of bottle tree either. Its trunk looks like a thick bottle, then tapers at the top with almost no branches. The branches that do appear at the top tend to be thorny and even a bit hairy. It's an absurd tree, that is for sure. Like the milky mangrove, the Namibian bottle tree has a watery latex fluid rich in toxic alkaloids. If it gets in your eyes, it can cause blindness. Although local populations of Namibia and southern Angola where this tree grows often use this latex for poison and arrows for hunting. If you were going to see these trees in person, you'd find them in semi-desert areas on rocky hillsides and in dry bushfelds. They grow around 1,000 to 1,600 meters above sea level and thrive in conditions from around negative 10 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Even though the tree isn't under threat, wild plants are removed for trade, which means there's a lack of young plants. As a result, it's an offense to trade them internationally without a permit. Number three, common yew. The common yew, or English yew as it is also known, is an evergreen tree in the conifer family that grows in Europe, Africa, Iran, and Asia. It's an ornamental tree that is incredibly beautiful, but don't let its looks fool you. This tree is one you probably shouldn't touch. The entire tree, including the flesh of the berry that covers the seed, is poisonous because they contain taxine alkaloids, a group of chemicals. And since those are not angiosperms, but gymnosperms. These chemicals have caused countless livestock fatalities and can also be fatal for humans since they cause cardiac arrest and respiratory failure. The lethal dose of the alkaloids is around 3 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, so just 50 grams of yew needles could result in death. There are no known antidotes for the poisoning, but drugs like atropine can treat symptoms. As deadly as this tree is, though, it does have some uses. People used to grow them by outside toilets, as the smell would keep insects away. Its wood is also incredibly easy to work with, so it was a preference for longbows and woodworking. Some of the compounds found in the yew tree bark may also be effective as anti-cancer agents. Number 2. Wild Cherry Trees Wild cherry trees, also called bird cherry, prunus avium, and sweet cherry, are trees native to many countries and naturalized in many others. As many benefits as these trees bring to the table, they are typically one you should be wary of. This is because all parts of the trees, aside from the ripe fruit, are slightly toxic. They contain cyanogenic glycosides. These can cause headaches, dizziness, vomiting, anxiety, and in extreme cases, death. Although the likelihood of someone eating enough bark or leaves to cause severe side effects is rare. Wild cherry trees, even though they are mildly poisonous, are grown for a variety of reasons. Their cherries have been used as a food source for thousands of years, with stones being found in piles all the way back to the Bronze Ages. They are also grown for ornamental reasons due to their beauty and convenient size for streets and gardens. The hard, red-brown wood, called cherry wood, is desirable for woodworkers who prefer it for musical instruments, cabinets, and wood turning. It's even used to smoke food because of its pleasant flavor. Number 1. Poison Ivy Poison ivy is an allergenic flowering plant and an incredibly unwelcome one at that. If you touch it, you can experience dermatitis and an irritating, itchy, and painful rash. This reaction comes from the ivy's sap, which contains a compound called urushiol. Numerous poison ivy types exist, which can make staying away from them far more complicated. They can be a climbing vine that grows on trees, as a shrub, or a trailing vine. They are usually identifiable by their three almond-shaped leaves. I'm going to be using a stick to be pointing out some of the features of this plant. If you see a trio of suspicious looking leaves, run. Not many people realize that poison ivy can act a bit like a tree. If an ivy plant germinates near a tree, it can quickly become an aggressive woody vine that ends up taking on the form of a tree. It almost becomes an extension of it. As a result, there have been many situations where people have grabbed some leaves from a tree to pull down a branch, only to realize it was poison ivy that had sneakily decided to become a tree. The moral of 
the story is, if you can't identify a plant or tree, don't touch it. As beneficial as trees are for life on Earth, you just can't trust all of them. Some would rather end your life than save it. Have you seen any of these trees in person? Maybe you've got one in your own backyard. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.